welcome to Amrita Tis Crochet World. Today I am here once again with my new tutorial. Today I am going to make one table mat or a doily. It's a sunflower pineapple doily or sunflower pineapple table mat. It's a beautiful made with yarn. I have used acrylic yarn. So we are going to make with the yarn. This I, am, I have made with the help of uh, 2.5 mm crochet hook and the other one that we are going to make today I am taking two colors for that in yellow and uh, hot pink color or magenta color so I am making with these two colors and uh, these two color these two yarns are more thinner than this one uh, the yarn that I have used for this doily or table mat and uh, so for this I am going to use 2 mm crochet hook for this uh, these two colors the choice of hook depends upon the thickness of your yarn and uh, we need a tapestry needle to sew the ends at, uh, on the corners and a pair of scissors to cut the ends okay this table mat measures 15 inches uh, or 38 centimeters in diameter okay so as this was made in 2.5 mm crochet hook so it measured 15 inches and now we are going to make with a thinner yarn and 2 mm crochet hook so our its size will be a bit smaller than this one so let's see so let me keep it aside a beautiful sunflower pineapple doily so I'm going to give the base with this magenta color and the petals with again with the yellow color okay so let's begin with the base taking our hot pink or magenta color yarn just a second as I told you it's a very thin yarn like thread Okay, let me see. Now, so we are going to start with chain 5. One, two, three, four, and 5. Slip stitch in the starting chain so that a loop can be made. You can see a loop is made. Now in this loop start with chain 3. This chain 3 is not considered as our double crochet and in this loop we are going to make 20 double crochet. Okay. 1, 2, take the end along with Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. It's 20 double crochet in this circle and slip stitch on the top of chain 3. So this is your round number 1. Round number 2, start with chain 3, which is again not considered as our double crochet. Now, okay, just a second. Oops. 
slip stitch on the top of the double crochet sorry okay the chain three we are not taking now from round number two we are considering our uh, chain three as our double crochet so we are going to make chain three as our first double crochet and a chain one in the next stitch this was first stitch now this is your second stitch oops double crochet chain one double crochet in the next stitch chain one in the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch uh, sorry after that chain one so till end one double crochet and chain one we are going to make till end double crochet chain one double crochet chain one so you will be having 20 double crochet and 20 chain spaces so i'll meet you at the end of this round okay now i have made one double crochet and one chain space and in the third chain from the starting make a slip stitch okay this was round number two round number three starts with chain three which is our double crochet and in the chain space make one double crochet on the double crochet make a double crochet in the chain space make a double crochet so till the end we are going to make one double crochet on the double crochet and one double crochet in between the space so till the end you will be having again uh, 20 double sorry uh, this uh, 40 double crochet okay one double crochet in the double crochet and one double crochet in the chain space so till the end you will make like this now I have made one double crochet on the double crochet and one double crochet in between the chain spaces. Now I have 40 double crochets. Slip stitch on the third chain of the starting chain 3. Okay. Currently you will be feeling like it's getting curled up. But don't worry. After this as it get grows up it will get automatically straighten up. Like this. This is all. This was also like this. Okay. Now row number 4 chain 3 as our first double crochet in the next stitch make one more double double crochet after that make row number 4 chain 2 okay yes row number 4 is this making one double crochet in first two stitches and then two chain spaces again in the next stitch we are going to make one double crochet next stitch again making one double crochet then two chains in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch again make one double crochet and chain two like this complete till end two double crochet and two chain spaces one double crochet in each stitch and then two chains uh, two chain spaces and this row will end with two chain spaces which we will slip stitch over the uh, top of this chain 3. Now we have at the end of row number 4. As I told you it will end with 2 chains and slip stitch on the top of 3rd chain of the beginning chain 3. Okay. See it's not curling up right now. Okay. Now slip stitch in the next stitch that is on the top of your uh, double crochet again make a slip stitch and slip stitch in between the chain 2 space now you have reached the chain 2 space in this we are going to make a shell so how to make the shell chain 3 as our double crochet one more double crochet two chains and two more double crochet in the same chains chain two space of last round this is your shell so like this in each chain two space i am going to make a shell One, two double crochet two chains and two more double crochet this is your shell 
so in each chain two space we are going to make a shell till end and slip stitch on the top of third chain from the beginning chain three so now we are at the end of row number five slip stitch on the top of chain three from the beginning chain three and slip stitch again in the next double crochet and slip stitch to the chain 2 space now as I told you 2 double crochet chain 2 and 2 double crochet this is your one shell each time whenever I say shell it means 2 double crochet chain 2 2 double crochet in the same space okay so now row number 6 we are going to make shell in the shell that is in the chain 2 space I am going to make a shell once again, chain 3 as our first double crochet, second double crochet, chain 2 and 2 more double crochet in the same space. So this is your shell in the shell, like this, okay, chain 1, in the next shell again make a shell. 1 double crochet, second double crochet, chain 2, 2 more double crochet in the same shell. Okay, chain 1 and again shell on the shell. So like this we are going to make row number 6 by making shell on the shell and chain 1. Like this. Now we are at the end of row number 6, slip stitch on the top of chain 3 from the starting, chain 3, it's very thin yarn that is why, okay, row number 6, up to row number 6 it's complete. Again slip stitch on the top of next double crochet and slip stitch in between chain 2 space. Okay, now row number 7 and 8 both we are going to repeat as same chain 3 as our first double crochet, second double crochet in the same space, chain 2 and 2 more double crochet in the same space that is the first shell as we usually do after that make two chains again shell on the shell this is I am making the shell again make chain two again shell on the shell so like this this is row number seven and row number eight also we are going to making the same shell on the shell and two chains okay row number seven and row number eight two sh uh, shell on the shell two chains shell on the shell two chains this is row number seven row number eight again the same thing okay so me i'll meet you at the end of row number eight this is end of row number eight with shell on the shell and chain 2 shell on the shell chain 2 now we are going to start with row number 9 shell on the shell ok and chain 3 shell on the shell chain sorry shell on the shell and chain 3 again shell on the shell so like this we are going to repeat till end shell on the shell and 3 chains in between This will be the last round for this color. After that we will start, start with the petals. Here I have made this portion with dark brown color to give the center as of the sunflower. 
and after making this center this is the center because I told you this is the thinner yarn this is three ply yarn and this is four ply yarn that is why and uh, here I had used 2.5 mm crochet hook and here I have used I am using 2 mm crochet hook so the size will be this much uh, let me show you so this much about a uh, an inch it's smaller okay so this will be the last round with this magenta color or pink color so we are going to make shell on the shell and chain three and then slip stitch on the top of this chain three and then finish off this color so i'll meet you at the end of row number nine now i have done nine rows with this color i have finished it off now we are going to start the second color that is this yellow color you can make it in any color of yarn any type of yarn the thing is you have to use the appropriate size of the hook according to the yarn size okay so i am attaching the yarn in between the shell so we are going to make with this color shell on the shell with the help of a slip knot I am attaching the second color I am taking yellow color you can take any other color so shell on the shell this is row number 10 okay we will cut this these extra ends okay now chain 3 in the next shell here I have made shell on the shell in this shell I am going to make 9 double crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven eight nine again chain three and shell on the shell chain three and in the next shell make nine double crochet Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Chain three. And again, shell on the shell. So we are going to repeat this sequence till end and you will end up with 9 double crochet in this shell and chain 3 and slip stitch over here. So shell on the shell and 9 double crochet in, in the next shell and in between 3 chains. So I will meet you at the end of row number 10. So this is the end of row number 10. We are going to start with row number 11. So reach the center of the shell and making shell on the shell this row will be as it is like shell on the shell and this we will be making as a pineapple stitch okay so pineapple uh, a pattern we are going to make over that so shell on the shell right after that this is row number 11 shell on the shell chain 2 on first double crochet make 1 double crochet chain 1 on the next double crochet make 1 double crochet chain 1 like that on each double crochet make double crochet and chain 1 double crochet chain 1 double crochet chain 1 double crochet chain 1 double crochet chain one so like that we have nine double crochet in last round and in this round again we will be having nine double crochet separated by 
one chain and at the end make two chains and shell on the shell shell on the shell two chains on each double crochet nine double crochets we had on each double crochet make one double crochet separated by chain one so like this complete this row number 11 so after row number 11 we have reached here now starting row number 12 again shell on the shell chain 2 now in this uh, first chain space chain 1 space make one single crochet okay after making the shell chain 2 and make one single crochet in between first two double crochets we have chain 1 space in that now make chain 3 and in the next chain 1 space make a single crochet chain 3 in the next chain 1 space make a single crochet chain 3 in the next chain 1 space make a single crochet chain 3 in the next chain 1 space one single crochet like this chain 3 in the next chain 1 space, 1 single crochet. Chain 3. In the next chain 1 space, single crochet. Chain 3. In the last chain 1 space, make 1 single crochet. Like this. Now you have 7 loops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 7 loops in these double crochets. Chain 2 shell on the shell Oops. shell on the shell chain 2 again in the first chain 1 space making one single crochet like this chain 3 and in the next chain 1 space single crochet chain 3 and in the next chain 1 space single crochet chain 3 next chain 1 space single crochet chain 3 in the next space single crochet chain 3 in the next space single crochet chain 3 next space single crochet chain 3 in the last chain 1 space single crochet and after that make 2 chains and in next shell on the shell so like this we are going to follow this sequence till end this will be shell on the shell 2 chains and loops in between the double crochets so now after row number 12, working for row number 13, shell on the shell, chain 3, now you find the first loop, in this loop make a single crochet. chain 3 in the next loop make a single crochet 1 2 3 3 chains in the next loop we are going to make single crochet again make chain 3 in next loop make a single crochet in the last row we were making single crochet in between uh, the 
chain spaces now we are working over the loops 1 2 3 in the loops we are making single crochet last row we were having seven loops now we are having one less one two three four five six like this this number of loops will be get uh, will get decreased to make a petal now after that when you reach the last loop chain three and shell on the shell chain 3 again start making single crochets and chain 3's in the loops chain 3 and single crochet in the next loop chain 3 in the last loop again make chain 3 and shell on the shell like this finish this row number 30 till end so this is the end of row number 13 row number 14 is almost exactly same like row number 13 shell on the shell chain 3 now we have in row number 13 1 2 3 4 5 6 loops now in row number 14 this number of loops will be decreased but to 5 again chain 3 and single crochet in the loop chain 3 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 and shell on the shell like this shell on the shell and now we have five loops one two three four and five five loops and shell on the shell and again chain three and shell on the shell like this complete row number 14 now we are at the end of row number 14 till row number 14 there was no difference we were working as usual like shell on the shell chain 3 and single crochet in the loops with chain 3's now from row number 15 we are going to make some changes as this was uh, like this now as our petal is decreasing so here it will get stretched up so it will uh, distort its shape so to give it a shape we have to make the petals now from row number 15 we are going to give it a petal shape separate petal shape so as we have reached uh, in the shell now in the shell in the first shell make chain 3 as a first double crochet second double crochet chain 2 2 double crochet like as usually we make the shell again make chain 2 and 2 more double crochet in the same shell so we have made a split shell chain 3 and single crochet in the loops now we are working the same only the shell portion we have to make of two parts like this chain 3 single crochet in the loop again chain 3 single crochet in the loop chain 3 now we have reached a shell in the shell make 2 double crochet chain 2 
टू डबल क्रोशे चेन टू एंड टू मोर डबल क्रोशे इन दिस वे वी आर गोइंग टू स्प्लिट अवर शेल्स इन टू पार्ट ओनली द शेल्स rest in the center this work will remain same so i'll meet you at the end of row number 15 after row number 15 we are going to work for row number 16 and in that we will be working for individual petals now we will we are not working in rounds so we are working in individual petals so slip stitch in the first chain to space we have split shell so in the first part make a single uh, slip stitch and here we are going to start with our petal okay sorry uh, make a slip stitch in the chain two space and again start slip stitching over two single uh, two double crochet and reach the second uh, this space okay in this space we have reached now here we are going to make the shell and normal shell not a split one so here we have made a slip stitch but we have started slip stitching and reached this space and made a shell okay as usual chain 3 and single crochet in the loop chain 3 single crochet in the loop chain 3 single crochet in the loop just three times three loops we have done now make chain 3 and in the in this chain 2 the first chain 2 space make a shell now we are not going to work this side after reaching this this was row number 16 turn your work turn your work and start slip stitching and reach the chain to space of the shell and here make a shell chain 3 this is row number uh, 17 two loops now we have reached chain 3 and shell in the shell turn your work row number 18 slip stitch and reach the chain to space again make shell in the shell chain 3 single crochet in the loop chain 3 single crochet in the loop chain 3 shell in the shell okay This is row number nineteen. Now we have only one loop left. Turn your work. Row number twenty. Again, reach the chain two space. Okay, this was I think. This was row number sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yes, this was eighteen. Now we are working in the row number nineteen. Shell in the shell. now no chain 3 just make a single crochet in the one loop that we are left with and shell in the shell see like this turn your work now we are working in row number 20 reach the chain to space
Now make chain 3 as 1 double crochet. One more double crochet. Okay. Now in chain 2 space of next shell make 2 double crochet. Okay. 4 double crochets like this as we have. Again turn your work. Row number 21. Slip stitch in between 2 double crochet. First 2 double crochet. Now chain 2 and in between these two, 2 double crochets make a double crochet. Chain 1 and slip stitch. Chain 1 and finish it off. Now we need to cut it. Now finish off this point and hide the yarn inside. So this petal is done. This is one petal from row number 16 to 21. For each petal we are going to repeat the same as we have done for this row, uh, this uh, petal. From 16 we will be working for second petal. We will be working in this shell and then these loops and then this first shell and then it will start making like this and the whole pattern will be like this and this yarn we have to hide in between the work so it will this will be created like this so let's measure what will be the size as this brown and yellow combination uh, placement mat is four ply and made with the 2.5 mm crochet hook and this pink and yellow combination uh, placement mat is done with 3 ply yarn and 2 mm crochet hook so its diameter is about 1 inch shorter than this one so it will be about 14 1 inch from here 1 inch from this side so about 2 inches it's less it's 13 to 13.5 inches will be in its diameter so hope you like my video on making this beautiful and gorgeous placement mats with any color combination you can make so um, if you like it please give it a thumbs up please uh, like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you'll get the notification for each and every new uh, update regarding new upload and uh, if you have any queries, any suggestions, please do write in the comment section. And thank you for watching once again. Thank you.